Ryan, let's talk tech. <laughs> NVIDIA shares falling after the company released preliminary earnings that showed quarterly revenue of $6.7 billion, well below the outlook of 8.1. The chip maker sending other chip and tech stocks down with it. Ryan, what do you make of this sector, tech stocks in general? Because, again, these chip makers, broadly speaking, just got a nice little welfare check totaling about $300 billion out of the uh, Congress. I like that as a welfare check, and it really is. It is. And it's kind of scary, right? They, they're getting that welfare check, yet still the stock was off 8% yesterday, um, which just goes to show you that tech here has got problems, right? Tech benefited the most from the pandemic when we were sitting home. Uh, gaming specifically was down 44% quarter over quarter from NVIDIA, uh, which just says people aren't sitting home playing video games, right? They're going out again. Uh, the way the consumer is acting now is, is different than they were a year, year and a half ago. And I think the dangerous thing here is, is tech has had a nice bounce over the last month and a half. And Dennis just said it, don't trust the Fed, uh, don't trust the man. Uh, you know, if the Fed continues to be very hawkish, that's not great for tech. And we saw this when the dot-com bubble burst. We had a huge sell-off in tech stocks. In fact, like 70% of tech stocks were down 50%, had a big rebound over 30%, like a new bull market. Then tech proceeds to go down another 80%. Right. So I think you have the same kind of trap here that can happen where investors are putting money back into tech because it's bouncing here, where you want to further diversify your money because tech really valuations are still high. If rates continue to go up and inflation stays strong, that's not going to be the place to be for your money. And I see about 50 portfolios a month. Everybody's still invested in tech. You've got to re-diversify, redeploy your capital to elsewhere because there's a lot of opportunities out there because the economy is still strong, just not in tech.